The first thing we'll be asked to do in algebra is to simplify expressions. Simplifying an expression is taking an expression such as 3x plus 2x and working out that we can write that in a more simple way, 5x. To simplify, the first way we would do this is collecting like terms. Now in algebra, like terms are terms that contain the same pronumeral part. Terms, you'll remember, parts of the expression separated out by plus and minus signs. And the pronumeral part has to be the same pronumerals with the same powers of the pronumerals. So, for example, if we have this set of numbers, we've got 6, 3a, negative 4, a squared b, 2ab, 10, 4a squared, negative 2a, ba, uh, 6a squared, b squared, and let's have 3a squared, b. Some of these are like terms. They're like terms if the pronumeral part of the term is completely the same as the pronumeral part of another term. So let's go with a nice easy one. Here we have 3a. The only pronumeral there is a. That's the same as the a in negative 2a. Over here we've got 2ab. Doesn't matter that b and a are in different order. a times b is the same as b times a. So these two are a pair of like terms. Also like terms are negative 4ab and oh sorry a squared b and 3a squared b. a and b, a squared, b not raised to the power there. One more pair do we have, yes, we have one more here. 6 has no pronumeral, nor does 10. They're both constants, and so they are both like terms. We don't have a like term that matches up with 4a squared or with 6a squared b squared, because there's nothing there that has quite the same part for its pronumerals. Now, we need to be able to simplify by collecting like terms. In fact, we might come back to these examples and pause a moment to say, how, why can we collect like terms? Let's take that really easy example, something like this, 2a plus 3a that I started with. Now, you know that's 5a. We've done this before. Let's just have a look at what 2a means. 2a means 2 times a. That's 2 lots of a. The other way we could write 2 lots of a is just a plus a. 3a is 3 lots of a. That's a plus a plus a. And if we've got 2a plus 3a, you can see that we've got what we've got here is 5 lots of a. Basically, 2 lots of a plus 3 lots of a equals 5 lots of a. We've just collected like terms, and that is why we can add and subtract like terms. So let's go back to where we were with a slightly more complicated example. Someone's just asked us to simplify this by collecting like terms. To show our working, we put our equal sign underneath. We didn't have one on the above line, so here it goes. And we rewrite it, putting the like terms together, still keeping it as a sum. So 6x squared and 7x squared are like terms. So we can write those next to each other. The sign in front of the 7 and the 6 is both plus, so that would be 6x squared plus 7x squared. Now our equal sign means that the top line has to equal this line that we're currently writing. So we've got to keep the rest of the equation in there as well. We look at the other terms. Negative 2x plus 4x. They have the same pronumeral parts. They're like terms. So we put those 
in here now. Negative 2x plus 4x. Now that we've put these next to each other, it's much easier to see what we need to do. The next line down, 6x squared plus 7x squared. Well, that's 6 lots of x squared plus another 7 lots of x squared. So we have a total of 13 lots of x squared. We've dealt with the first pair. After this, negative 2x plus 4x. You'll remember, all we need to do is look at those coefficients and add or subtract them. Negative 2 plus 4 gives me positive 2. I've got plus 2x. I've simplified by collecting like terms. Again, they ask us here, simplify by collecting like terms. We gather together our like terms. We have negative 2y and negative 6y are my only like terms. Here and here. xy and the 3x squared y are not like terms because they have different pronumeral parts. So negative 2y minus 6y plus 3x squared y plus xy. The only bit we can deal with to simplify, negative 2y minus another 6y. I have taken away 2y. I'm taking away another 6y. We will get negative 8y. These ones just stay the same. Plus 3x squared y plus xy. We have simplified by adding and subtracting our like terms.